Charlie Wills Real Estate Team. Welcome back to our Tuesday tip. Today I'm going to show you how to clean uh, mechanisms like your shower heads, it could be your kitchen sink faucets, uh, you can even do it with uh, toilets using vinegar. So really cheap, toothbrush, a dollar, vinegar, a big liter of it, two dollars. Uh, and then you can reuse the Ziploc bags and also make sure you can't see it, but uh, make sure you use rubber bands to uh, keep it up. So what you do to prep is any one of your shower heads, uh, take a Ziploc bag, um, make sure you set it out. And before you put the vinegar in it straight out of the bottle, what, what, uh, what I've learned to do is you heat it up. So don't get it to boiling, uh, but heat the vinegar up, um, depending on your microwave, maybe a minute, minute and a half. You're just trying to get it really warm, you know, trying to get it hot. Um, you'll then pour it into the Ziploc bag, put it up against the, uh, the shower head. As you see, I already pre-prepped here today. I wanna to make sure that uh, when we did this, it was already set up. So uh, then I put the rubber band on the back side here, held it up against the shower head. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it off. And then when I take it off, I'm gonna brush the shower heads uh, a little bit, remove some of the calcium that's left and then also hit these, uh, these rubberized heads. The reason you don't want to use uh, really powerful chemicals is because these new shower heads are all made with rubber. And if you use that hot chemical on them all the time, it's going to make that rubber really brittle. And then those shower, those little, little, uh, little nozzles that are in here are going to get really brittle. So this is a great way to, to do this. So I'm going to take and uh, take this off. Bear with me here, and hopefully I don't spill vinegar all over myself. So, okay. Now I'm going to back it up off of here. And as you can see, I can tell you before I did this, um, this was uh, this had a lot of calcium that was built up around all the nozzle heads, and that's what you'll tend to see is that'll build up around there. So I'm gonna close the bag here, put this vinegar down for a second, and what you want to do is just lightly brush these heads. Okay, and you want to do each one of them just for a few seconds, and if you have nozzle heads that come to more of a point come out like almost like this, uh, like a nipple of a bottle. You want to take those and you want to take a toothpick with you and you want to get inside the nozzle and then you'll work it out. I've got a little wider one. And so all I have to do is take this toothbrush in here and break it up a little bit. Okay. And again, this is a dollar 40 at Walgreens. Um, and what's great about this is that this is going to be my vinegar tool. And so I'll mark it on here that this is for shower heads and stuff alike so that hopefully no one ever sticks this in their mouth because it'll taste like vinegar. So uh, when you're done with that, if you have any vinegar or have any calcium deposits that might happen to come around the edge, if you have any spray back, you can always rub the edges. You can always rub the furniture around a little, or I'm sorry, the hardware around a little bit. Um, this is what I tend to do. And this, I don't do this much than more than once a month. Uh, you don't need to unless you're super concerned <laughs> or super clean. You, uh, you might do it more often, but as you can see here, uh, the nozzle head is really, really clean. And uh, what I'm going to do here as I back up is uh, I'm going to take one of my towels because vinegar is not going to bleach. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to take a little bit of water here, get the towel wet. When you take this towel now, all I have to do is so that you can see that it's not just because of the wetness that it's clean, but it's actually really, really clean now. And I'm going to clean this head off for you so you can see that the shower head and Brian can shoot photo of the uh, or video of the nozzles that are in here. You can see how clean those all are now. Those are super clean. And like I said this morning before I stuck that vinegar on there, uh, they were really calcified. Um, and that was just between the month that we had it in between cleaning. But because of Madison right here and pretty much most of uh, Wisconsin, uh, some of northern Wisconsin, not as hard in the water, but uh, here in the probably like from Wausau down, really, really hard water that we live with. So these calcium deposits are only coming from 
uh, that source. So it's not anything wrong with your water softener if you have one. If you don't have one, still get a water softener because you're going to reduce how much uh, of this that will actually come through. So for us, what we do is we do this all the time and I come in here and I clean that. And so now when we use the water shower head, it would be really clean, really powerful and the water flow will be really good. All right, that's our tip for this week. Um, next week, uh, when we shoot tips, we're going to take our drafty windows. There's a new peel, uh, peel and stick, uh, caulking, uh, that DAP products came out with and we're going to take it and basically if this window was drafty, we would take and we'd fill in all the areas around it for the winter instead of having to put up those big sheets uh, of, uh, of plastic around them like we used to have to. And now what that does is it seals it in and in the spring when you're done with it, you just would be able to pull it right off. It's a really great product and we're going to showcase that. So have a great week and we look forward to seeing you next week.